Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jairo and I make Aruba content, travel content occasionally. And this is the South America series 2023. Today we are here in the city of Montevideo in the country of Uruguay. And we're going to do a city tour and check out some uh, areas that uh, we think that are, are going to be in your interest and uh, maybe for your planning if you are going on a cruise or you just want to do a city tour to give you an idea what you can expect here in this city. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I've always been interested in uh, visiting Uruguay. This is going to be a very brief, only a couple of hours here in the city, but uh, I've always wanted to visit here and uh, yeah, now I'm going to have the, that chance and uh, for me it's going on a cruise often gives you like a brief moment to think like should I come back to this country? Should I come back to the city and visit again? Uh, that's what we're gonna also explore. Let's go. Right now we are at the Plaza de la Independencia, the Independence Square, and this is where the president's building is, Uruguay Presidencia, and some other quite interesting looking buildings especially this one used to be like the tallest building in the in a city i think in the late 1920s or so it was built and it's a very very nice plaza for sure and it's a very nice day except a few raindrops so far but it's a very very nice day my father is checking it out also and taking photos of me and uh yeah so this statue Artigas is apparently the, how do you say it, like the, um, he's like the national hero of Uruguay, more or less. And uh, so far the, the history of the country, the way the tour guide has been explaining it, uh, already a lot of information that I did not know about. Uh, and that's, that's the reason I think you, you travel, to learn and to see sites like these. I've heard very nice things about the buildings here in the city of uh, Montevideo and this is certainly one of them. Very classical colonial style buildings. We are now at the Uruguayan Parliament, uh, said to be one of the seven most beautiful Parliament buildings in the whole world. But are we able to get inside? Yes, we are. We just confirmed. Yes. All right. This hall is called the Hall of the Lost Steps. Uh, it comes from the Roman Empire, that kind of concept. It's that the steps get lost in the distance. And it divides the two chambers. What is most remarkable about this hall are the decorations in marble. If you look at the floor, mm -hmm. it's like the design of Persian carpets mm -hmm. done in stone. We have stained glasses that were made in Milan, Italy, and those in the lunettes that look like paintings are not paintings but mosaics, and they were made in Venice with pieces of one square centimeter. And they represent the sciences here and the arts over there. Now we are at the Estadio Centenario, 
which is the the museum, the, well, the stadium and the museum, the football museum, uh, that hosted the first World Cup in 1930, uh, which Uruguay won, in case you didn't know, and getting my first view of the pitch. And so this stadium hosts about 65,000 spectators. And uh, I have seen so many, um, especially South American uh, matches, um, of the, uh, what is it, the uh, Sudamericano in football, that's, that's also popular, um, apart from, uh, let's say it's the European version, of South American version of the uh, Euro Cup, and which is also, you know, very much watched on this side of the continent. And I've always loved the Uruguayan flag and uh, the light blue color of it. So we're going to go into the museum part now and briefly check that one out. Uh, I used to be like a huge football fan. Lately, I'm not even a huge sports fan anymore, but uh, it still has my interest, of course, when the large tournaments are held. And uh, I've always been a, a fan, <laughs> you know, like a dark horse team for me. Uruguay has been. One of my favorite Uruguayan players of all time. This guy was really good. And I thought that that was all of the museum, but actually this is the 1950 team. Didn't know they were undefeated champions, but you come up these stairs or this elevator, and there's a whole another section here. So this is what it makes it like a really complete oh, Amsterdam. So that must have been like the Olympics or something. And a funny story by the guide, uh, she said like the building that we saw of the president, that took like 30 years to build and this one took just nine months. It's a matter of priorities and football is definitely important. It's like a religion here in uh, Uruguay and in many countries really. So we have checked out a couple of monuments uh, what, from what I understand, just behind the presidential palace, there's like a whole park that features some like monuments and things like that, and some really nice looking trees. The weather is just beautiful today. It's not hot at all, but apparently it can, it can get up to 35 degrees Celsius uh, during the summer, and we are in, in the summertime. Uh, so yeah, our bus looks cool, by the way. That's a cool looking bus. This is a market just outside of the cruise port, which has some pretty interesting items actually. Now we're gonna look into uh, buying maybe some, some little souvenirs, maybe some gifts possibly. So we're starting to get hungry. So we heard that beef is like one of the top things that they have here in Uruguay. So we're gonna look for something maybe in here. Now this place looks really good, but what really stands out is the the smell of the, the beef and the steaks of being cooked, it looks amazing. So we're quite interested in, you know, trying them out. And we saw some huge <laughs> pieces of steak. So we don't know how much we really want to eat, but we'll go for it anyway. 
we're kind of tired of the cruise ship uh, food, kind of. It's not bad, but you do get like a repetition of it. So why not try something typical? Let's try this one. This one is around $20, $25, I think, with the exchange. Um, not the cheapest, but I'm telling you, it's well worth it. After enjoying that amazing lunch, we are heading back to our cruise ship to, you know, do a siesta, if all of things. Yes, we do that. And uh, but that, before doing that, uh, we are checking out parts of the last parts of Uruguay for now. I do hope to someday come back here. Definitely uh, looks very interesting. And uh, I'm going to look further into what uh, there is to do uh, in the country of Uruguay.